We're the last of the cowboys, the GDF gone boys. Eighteen wheels on the concrete, it's a slow and dying breed. Rolling like Jesse James, a modern day outlaw game. If you're out here riding with me, come on back and make some noise. We're the last of the cowboys. Got us a convoy. Out there leading this uh, convoy. This is Roy Horton. I'm director of product strategy for Mack Trucks. All right. So quickly break down what product strategy is. So uh, those that are outside of the company will have an idea what you do. We're the product guys. Product strategy is a product team comprised of highway construction, refuse, and technology. We provide the face to the market for the uh, uh, face of the company uh, to the marketplace. We're the uh, voice of the customer internally, uh, driving all of the, the different uh, new product needs to all the relevant functions inside of the organization. Uh, we're also the guys that, uh, as I said, we're the face to the market. We, uh, we attend the press conferences, we, we attend and help uh, arrange the product for the truck shows. Uh, we visit dealers and customers and uh, pretty much provide the product expertise to the, to the marketplace. Uh, this convoy and uh, how it's been going for you guys today. Well, we launched our new Anthem truck just two nights ago, two days ago, and uh, we decided to, a few months back to put together this convoy made up of Anthems, Granites, and Pinnacles in order to demonstrate that many different applications that uh, our new product update is capable of, uh, of uh, uh, providing to the marketplace. Tell me about the models that you have in tow behind you. We have eight Anthem models, one Pinnacle and one Granite. The Granite's in a dump configuration. The Pinnacle, uh, I think, is pulling a van trailer. And the Anthems are pulling dump trailers, boot bore tankers, pneumatic trailers, and vans as well. We've got day cabs, 48 inch sleepers, and 70 inch stand up sleepers, all included in the convoy. I think we never did say where this convoy is headed to, so uh, where are you guys headed to? Well, eventually we're gonna end up at our next trend facility. It's a newly renovated facility. Uh, just outside of Atlanta, it, we're headed to the North America Commercial Vehicle Show just in a couple weeks, so we're going to stage all our vehicles there. Before we get there, we're going to Grandover down in Greensboro and spend the night there with all of our press and journalists and enjoy an evening and talk about uh, all the details from the, from the convoy since we started off in Allentown at 7.30 this morning. Let's back up a couple days. How has it been for you guys since you've uh, unveiled the anthem and uh, how has some of the press gravitated to it and what are some of the things they've said about it? Since the big reveal Wednesday night at 7 o'clock, uh, everyone who has seen the truck and the, and the new interiors, the new driver environment, the new sleeper environment, the exterior update, everybody has said a resounding wow. These product updates are proving themselves with everyone we're seeing. 
We're putting ourselves on channel 19 as we're coming down the road and we're just getting all kinds of positive comments. Everyone we pass, everybody that passes us, they're, they're very excited about the new look that uh, the Mac Anthem is bringing to the marketplace. Tell me about what's available in terms of exterior and interiors. So the truck that I'm driving is just a trial marketing piece that we're considering putting together for a special edition uh, later on in the future. Uh, so we've blacked out the grill, we blacked out the word mark across the middle of the grill, the light bezels, the mirrors, the hood mirrors, the door mirrors, we blacked out the steps. Everything on it is fairly well blacked out except for the gold dog that's sitting right up front. Uh, now Anthem, as far as exterior trim packages, we've got a chrome bright finish that's available and that's, uh, that's readily apparent on two or three trucks that we have in the convoy with us. And it's also available in uh, a bold black finish which involves the grill surround, the headlight bezels, the bumper uh, elements, uh, and the air intakes. Well, they both show off very well. One of the things that I wanted to ask you about was when you stopped that, uh, I believe it was a pilot earlier, you referred to it as a truck stop takeover. What were some of the responses from some of the truck drivers that stopped by and had a look at the trucks? A lot of the guys that walked up and introduced themselves, they said things like, wow, is that Max? Can we get in it? Can you take my picture next to it? Nothing but overwhelmingly positive comments and uh, tons of interest from all the drivers coming through some of these truck stops. That's really great feedback. Glad to hear that. Everything is, is very easy to access now. Yeah. You got a lot of storage, a lot of places. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I love it, yeah. Well, my expertise is limited to the role as an equipment editor. I mean, I've got a CDL, I've driven just about everybody's, well, actually, I've driven everybody's tractor, all the new models that have come out over the last 18 months. There's a lot of things about the Anthem that I like. Uh, the, first and foremost would be the DM drive. AMT is smooth, it's intuitive, it doesn't hunt for a shift. It knows when to shift, it makes it quickly, makes it smooth, there's not a lot of clicking. You know, it's not waiting for your power band to get right. It knows when to shift based on the, the load demand, how much torque do you need. It just makes that decision for you. It's comfortable to drive. The, the fit and finish inside the Anthem is it's, it's pretty top notch. The, the layout of the, the, the D-pillar with the rocker switches, they're easy to reach, they're easy to see, they're all in a very intuitive position. You know, if you bought this truck today, by the time you got out of it at night, you would know where all your switches positions are. It's comfortable to drive. The, the flat bottom steering wheel lets you pull the, the steering wheel in a lot deeper. It makes for a more comfortable arm position without the steering wheel dragging in your lap or dragging across your belly. The visibility is pretty outstanding. Uh, even if you've got the split windshield, it's not obstructive. You, you can see it. The, the, the single piece windshield is just that much better. The, the hood mirrors, I know a lot of truckers hate hood mirrors, but these hood mirrors are about as deluxe as they get. Uh, they're mounted to the hood, you know, they're not over the fender, so they don't vibrate quite like what you're used to. The, the view is very panoramic. I can see cars on the left and the right side before they even get on my trailer. And, and in the lines, the lines of this truck are really distinctive. When it's coming down the road, man, you can see it, and it is outstanding. It's, it's got a nice visual footprint coming down the highway. Hey Chris, I just happen to have in the truck here with me, Jonathan Randall, Senior Vice President of Max Sales for North America. Would you like a few comments from him? Absolutely. It's been a great couple days since we introduced on Wednesday night. The buildup for this has been going for the better part of a year, but we really launched our teaser campaign, what, about three months ago, four months ago, and just generated uh, a gob of uh, interest. So we had thousands watching the launch on Wednesday night on YouTube and Facebook Live. I think everybody's itching to get their their hands on them, uh, test them out, drive them, get butts in seats, and, and uh, head on down the road. What were some of the things that you're anticipating, and and what's come to fruition for you? The the buildup has been that that this is a product that uh, Mac, our dealers, and our customers have really been waiting for for some time. Uh, you know, we launched the Vision in the late 90s and then updated with the Pinnacle in 2005. But really, you haven't seen much from us, particularly in the long-haul market, with, uh, with upgrades. 
what we've done is really kind of kick the door back open into the long haul market for us. And the response has been nothing short of, uh, of amazing. We had high expectations coming in and those expectations have been surpassed. Uh, everybody who's seen the truck, uh, particularly the 70 inch, 48 inch uh, Anthem have been amazed. Uh, and the response just coming out of the two days uh, from the launch event we just had in Allentown, Pennsylvania uh, has been nothing short of, uh, well, astounding. We have received commitments from our dealers in the thousands. Uh, we start building this truck first quarter of next year, and uh, people can't wait till we get it into their hands and on the road. Well, that's amazing. I'm really looking forward to how the Anthem and, and all the other products, how those do in the marketplace. Thanks very much. We sure appreciate it. Thanks to everybody out there checking out the trucks. Absolutely. Who's driving the dump truck? Go ahead and give me your name, what you do, and uh, a little bit of info about the truck you drive. This is Tim Wrinkle. I'm the construction product manager for Mack Trucks. We've got a brand new granite axle forward. So this is set up for a North Carolina quad. So we got two lift axles, and we can carry about 73,000 pounds in North Carolina. Each state's a little different, but the granite's got the brand new interior on it as well. This particular one has uh, aluminum dash and the new Sierra tan color, so it's great offset with the black. It's got the nice new granite emblem with the American flag, flying free. Right on, we'll appreciate it. So along in this convoy, we have uh, Suzanne Stempinski. Uh, tell me, how do you fit into the trucking industry? So what's your forte? Well, I'm field editor for Landline Magazine. I've been writing for them for more than 15 years. Um, I was an over-the-road owner-operator for 14, 15 years, and I've got about a million and a half safe driving miles under my belt. We've been in the same circle for a couple of years. I did not know those things, so I'm happy to have learned those things. Very impressive. Uh, Suzanne, uh, give me your impression of the new Anthem. You know, I was at the launch, and I've, it's so much more than smoke and mirrors. I think the truck looks pretty amazing. It looks tough, it looks fierce, it looks strong. I mean, it really is vintage Mac, but modern. I, I really liked it. I think the outside is awesome. I think the finishes are terrific. I think the ride is really good, and it's fun to drive. So it sounds like you're describing a total package scenario there. I think it's going to be a big surprise for a lot of people, and definitely a game changer for Mac. 10-4. I did see a lot of finishes. I was very impressed by what I saw. I got really comfortable really quickly when I took the test drive. I, I really liked what I saw. I had a couple of flinch moments where I wanted to step on the clutch, but after that I got really comfortable and I really enjoyed it. Well, Roy, as the sun sets on day one of the uh, Mac Anthem Convoy, I want to say it's been a pleasure being able to tag along with you guys and, and see the trucks from the, the moment that uh, the whole world uh, saw the trucks to testing them on the track and also being a part of uh, the, the press experience in, in the trucks and also a part of the convoy. So I appreciate it and be looking to, forward to seeing what the brand does over time. Thank you, Chris. We really appreciate you being with us, taking the time to spend with us to document some of the some of the exciting new products that we're bringing to the market and uh, we're, we're looking forward to a lot, uh, a lot more uh, good messages in the future to come. 10-4, we'll, we'll be seeing you soon.